Hey there, welcome back guys. Are we on a roll? If you have your X Maker Joy Printer and you want to use a different color filament, then this video is just right for you. Originally, it comes with this. No problem with this filament. Originally, it doesn't come with that. No trouble with this filament either, but there are some issues with it. Um, we're we're going to help you solve it in case you get a jam like this right here. Um, Again, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just two different spools, one created for the uh, proprietary experience and one created for another experience on another printer. Um, so without any further ado, come, let's get started. So I'll show you guys as you can uh, let's move that out of the way uh, put that there. So as you can see, nice rounded, right? So when it's on the spool, it's going to spin with no problem um, here. It's cardboard. Uh, it's going to spin, but occasionally it will, will, you know, even on my finger. See that? Even on my finger. So if it's jamming and not turning on my finger, it's going to jam and not turn on the spool. Occasionally it'll get stuck. But what you do is you use um, the, the filament holder that has bearings in it. You do that and you're golden. Uh, it's just a small $7 part. I'll leave a link to that in the description. You get from AliExpress. It takes about um, a week to come or so um depends if you buy it from amazon it's going to cost you three times more so it's probably worth the wait uh but if you can't wait you know just get it from amazon but as you can see two different spools different experience and one is designated for that printer over there and this one's designated for that printer over there but we're going to show you how to change the filament okay so now that you know what to do to get things rolling <laughs> no pun intended now we're going to show you how to change the filament to your X Maker Joy. So without any further ado, come, let's get started. And in case for those of you who are wondering what this part is, it's right here. So basically this is the original one that comes with the X Maker Joy. It's great, it works, but um, as you see or might or may have seen, because you may be experiencing that, this has bearings on it. See that? It'll just spin. So no matter um, what the uh, spool is, see, it just rolls. It's a little bit heavier, but it fits on the unit perfectly fine. Uh, this one work, fits and works well, but designated for the um, X-Maker Joy experience, whereas this is a more of a universal uh, experience where we can go on any 3D printer and create an experience that's just right for you. We've already printed the Dummy 13, which is right here. Uh, we've already printed this, that one of my daughters. I'll just put that there. My daughter's printed. Kind of neat, huh? She's going to love that because that she did on her own. Uh, she's 10. Uh, this is the Dummy 13 that I printed, as you can see. Kind of neat. Uh, we're just going to print some more inner parts. We're probably going to reprint this uh, for a different experience. I uh, just want to see how other parts print. Um, so now we want to print in gray, right? Because the last print was in yellow and now we have gray filament. So what we want to do is it's as easy as one, two, three, anyone can do it. You could do it. Your kids can do it. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to open up the X maker application. So once we open up the X maker application, right? It'll load. It takes a little bit. And what you want to do is select printer and then Printer settings in the bottom left-hand corner. Not load, but you want to click unload, okay? And once you press unload, the printer is going to magically um, go into the position that it needs to. And if we go around to the back, right, we should see um, the filament travel backwards in reverse. But if you look at the... Um, uh, uh, nozzle temperature it's at 182 and it needs to reach 230 once it reaches 230 it's going to start to retract everything reverse it and put it back in I wonder if there's enough in there to print something more there might be um, probably something small like a little toy or a fidget uh, so you always want to keep an eye on a fidget there it goes it's moving all by itself in reverse kind of neat now I'll leave a link to this in the description. It's an $11 part. It's a uh, spool that has bearings in it. If you don't use a spool with bearings, uh, the when using third party, like this is Creality PLA, um, it's gonna jam and get stuck and you don't want that. So the bearings will just have it spin naturally. Again, using the, the uh, XMaker uh, uh, AOC filament, you'll never jam. 
But what happens is because this is cardboard, uh, not plastic, it just gets stuck. Um, and thanks to the bearings on this, you won't have any problems. All right, so I'll leave a link to that in the description because you know, if you have extra filament, use it, but you won't be able to use it if you don't have uh, the spool with bearings on it. So knowing that and moving forward, um, you know, it'll just work its magic. See, look at that. It's just spinning all its own. Just look at the creality and the words PLA, okay? And as we can see, it's 47% done. Uh, is it? Sometimes the percentages are off. Yeah, it's about right. 47, it's about 50. And right about there. Kind of neat. And looks like it's almost done. I can see the yellow right there. White is a little tricky to see. White on white, but you could always mark it with the Sharpie and watch the black line move. Uh, I think I should be able to pull it. So, voila. Hold press this right here. See? It just turned on its own. And should be able to, voila, see? That's how much was left. So now I can take this, right? And put that like that. Of course, you might want to clip it so it's ready to go the next time. So what you do is, and you just cut it, right? At an angle. And sometimes you might have to do it again. See? Voila. And now it's ready for whatever, right? And you do the same thing with the new. Filament. As you can see, that one definitely needs to be cut at an angle. All right, saw that. In case you didn't see, I'll show you again. See, a little, little angle. Voila. And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in like this, put that in like that, and then we'll be able to load this like this. Um, and then, what we're gonna do is just put that like that. And just put it in. Well, first you got to take this cover off, right? And once you take the cover off, you press this button right there and you just feed it into the hole, but it's got to go in straight. And you see, once it goes in, you just keep pushing it until it reaches the nozzle. Once it reaches the nozzle, you'll be able to do everything that it needs to do. See can't go anymore so that's perfect now what you'll do is you'll go into the app right and you'll press load okay once we press the load button you'll hear it move and then we're just going to have a look at the front so when we look at the front we'll be able to see the filament pour out from inside see look at that you'll be able in any minute so it has less to travel and i'll just take the camera off the tripod so that you guys can see so see it's pushing the remnants of the yellow that's what we see here yellow and it's feeding it through even though this says the temperature has to reach 230 some is still coming out but it'll be just it'll be more aggressive as the temperature reaches its optimum you know point and now we just wait so you keep letting that fall out right until it's all gray Okay, so even though it says 2%, 4%, it could be at 9% and be where it needs to be. But right now, I'd say maybe at 20%, it will be um, where it needs to be. It doesn't, so we'll just wait. Yeah, I think that's good enough. I think that's plenty. So now, what we can do is we can go to the app and just press cancel. You don't have to wait. Um, until it goes to 100% because it thinks that it's starting from the um, starting point, which is zero, which would have been right about there. But instead we pushed it all the way in, so, it, you know, to save time on that particular experience. And now, see, and less and less is coming out, right? Of course it'll continue to string, but this looks like spaghetti. Don't eat it. It's not food. So that's it for that. And now, right? And I believe we can print uh, the dummy 13. Kind of neat, huh? So you'll be up and rolling in no time. So, you know, it just be careful if you don't have that piece yet. Um, it will still print, but you have to watch it so it doesn't jam. And until then, things will just, you know, be business as usual. Um, it's nice that it comes with white. And just think about it. If you've had a 3D printer before, um, it does come with filament, 
And when you do get filament with your free $300 printer, it comes with about probably, I'm gonna say, <laughs> I have it around here somewhere. I don't know where it is, but I thought it was the most ridiculous thing ever. When you first buy your, your new printer out of the box, you probably get about that much filament. And you're like, what? What can I print with that? Well, that's not the case with the X-Maker Joy. X, look at the X-Maker Joy. Um, they're throwing in, whoops, <laughs> quite the bit that to get you started to printing a couple of things. And I managed to print a couple of things without a problem. Um, so in that case, you know, knowing that and moving forward, you're, you're getting, you know, quite the bundle because you're getting, as you can see, I've already used this probably halfway. Um, which is great. So it comes with a great starter amount of filament compared to others, which you're going to have to go and buy. Um, so eh, I guess that's pretty much it. So now you know how to change your filament. Maybe use your favorite color or maybe use the designated <laughs> roll. Um, anyway, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.